hopefully that's on bottom we're in like 20 some feet but i got one a better one I, my drag's too oh he come off my freaking drag okay boys and girls we've already wrapped up several videos but now we're going with spinner baits these are the three colors i could guess say i've had luck with so far this season but it seems like one's on the other ones are off so i'm gonna rig these three up and just get out here uh that's our z-man one three eighths ounce i've got more coming but they didn't make it from uh tackle warehouse and then our knockoff, which are basically knockoffs of the Mega Bass SV3. And I may actually buy a Mega Bass bait or two because you can only get these in this weight and you can get heavier Mega Bass ones. So there's a possibility. I don't want to spend that much money, but I may buy those if I feel I want a heavier one to try it in that, you know, slow rolling, deeper water type deal. But anyway, let's see which one of these. I'll probably go ahead and rig these up on the X Pride on one and then rig these, uh, this one on the Super Destroyer and rig that one on our, uh, keep that going, the Poison Adrena, just trying to throw in those three rods, trying different baits. I got the jig rigged up and I can also break out the 6.9 medium heavy 2.0's got the uh, HLC on it if I want to throw something on it. But let's just start throwing some uh, spinner baits and see what that does. So let's start with this X Pride. I don't know if that's intended. It is an awesome little bait keeper deal right there. It may eventually chew that up a little. I don't know. Just you keep throwing, hooking stuff there. But I like that. It's kind of down out of the way anyway. Because it comes with a bait keeper on the Poison Adrena doesn't. But this one comes with a bait keeper down here. But I don't like those. When I put my socks on and off, I can't keep a, my uh, real socks on and off. I can't keep the, it's harder to keep the bait there. You can uh, rig the baits with the hooks and all like right here. It's just like a better option in my opinion. It's already on the real seat. So let's just see how this thing does with spinner baits. And so far, I'm definitely liking the uh, Shimano rods over the Shimano reels. I love this. Uh, real seat feel that perfection real seat or whatever is definitely my favorite over the mega bass uh over the old nrx if you guys are still curious like well how much better you maybe you've never seen either in person the nrx plus they did change they gave it that x uh deal and they uh changed the real seat to more like basically a copy of the perfection it's that the overall shape it's exactly the same. They've taken out a little more material here to let your hand touch the blank a little more even on those, you know, because of extra sensitivity factor. But those NRX Pluses are way better feeling, looking, in my opinion, than the old NRX. Not that I want to pay $650 for one. I don't know if they've gotten that much better, but they uh, definitely are better than the NRX. Now... I, I can't justify myself spending any more money over those, over these uh, X Prides, just for the fact that these X Prides just flat get it done. And I've already more or less convinced myself I like cork a touch better, and this is good and comfortable. Like the Poison Adrena, if it broke, I, how I justify whether a rod or reel, for that matter, is good in my opinion. If I were to lose it, and if it leaves my arsenal... For whatever reason other than me getting rid of rid of it because i am tired of it like was it good enough should i you know hurry up and replace it and it's definitely one of those rods i would do that with still can't say that about the super destroyer i would probably actually get the blade the one down from the super destroyer it would give it a cork handle and it would uh be a touch softer so unless i find stuff that i feel the blade or the uh, super destroyer would be better than the blade i would get that but i honestly think i do need to keep a uh, destroyer p5 in my uh arsenal on the upper end now it could be the tequila baccarat i may get that one and feel that that is one i need to keep for that high end the the jig the bigger heavier baits just to make it easier to throw and it's, it is very sensitive you know no cashins i don't like those uh now that one's not bad but I don't like the carbony feel. I don't know, just something about that texture of those ones here. I just can't make myself like that. The looks, 
and all that i don't know there's just something about those i've i've looked at them all and that one you've had i've felt it honestly like that rod right there better than the other one and that one's cheaper isn't it so i just like and i'm the same way i like this one that rod is a better in my opinion rod than that other one it's more money i do really like this rod yeah because i mean it looks good functions good so it's hard to knock that cash and rod. A little bit too stiff in my opinion. I need to let you fish this rod. What is it? What's it called? Ion? And this one's an element? Yeah, but see, try this rod. This is six foot ten. Give me that one. You got spinner bait, about the same thing. That spinner bait, I can't tell the rod's definitely heavier than my rod, but I can't tell if that spinner bait is or not. how light that rod is though dude that rod now you can still find you can find them they say they're new come from japan for like 200 bucks but it's 279 dollars uh but it's a very it's like right there at the quality all these other real high dollar ones but it's you know it's most people call it not affordable but i'm like well Hundred and sixty. So it's not that much off. Well, not real far, but it is another hundred bucks. But if it's like, well, oh, if it's I'm two fifty, I thought yeah. it was two hundred. Well, you can. I got. Every time Charles gives me this, <laughs> somebody catches a fish. Charles, I'm gonna show him this spinner bait too. Charles was trying to keep this a secret. Have you bought any more of these? Look, I'm boat flipping with Charles' rod. He don't care. We'll break it. This one's got some kind of guarantee, yeah, doesn't it? Like a year at least, I'm sure. I think they're lifetime. Is it lifetime? I think so. So, purple and blue. Charles has got the funky... I hate that trail. I caught a fish with that nasty tray. <laughs> I'm afraid to even touch that bug-looking dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're in the middle of doing whatever. Look at all how chewed oh, yeah. up some of these are scrawny already. They're, yeah. Look at that little old head and body's like all drawed in. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, he had something in his mouth. I think he had a crawdad in his mouth. I saw, like, tentacles sticking what out. Color? Uh, dude, all I saw was, like, black tentacles. I can't tell you. Charles has this crazy... That's that spinnerbait you were using? Yeah. Hang on, let me look at this. It's like a dollar at Walmart. Dude, do you, do you leave it that bent? Yeah. Or did that happen no, just I, now? No, I bend them like that. The closer you can get the... Get it so to the hook. Want everybody, the get a good look use. at this crazy contraption. Now, that is a good color, though. That's like a peanut butter and jelly. It's like a sprayed grass. Next actually. time you go, buy me a couple of these. Okay. I want a couple of those little bait. Why is your line twisted so much? The whopper plopper. Oh, Charles still has a line twist going. Okay, give me mine back. Out of the bro. No. Give me my high dollar bougie setup back. I just. Caught a bass on a spinnerbait with a cast king. I've been throwing my bougie setup for like five minutes and haven't had nothing. But that color, I need to probably switch this. Charles is tearing. Get, look what you did to my bait, Charles. Charles did that. Yep, Charles is on it right now. I was just trying this color. Now I'm going to rig up the other ones. Just so I know, I think the bluegill color is off. If you guys, that's kind of why I left that in there and tried it. So we're going to go, uh, I'm going to leave the poison adrena alone. I've caught so many fish already on the poison adrena. I want to utilize my other two, the super destroyer and this X pride. But this is a bougie color, Charles. Let's try this. Yeah, I mean, it works fine. I just, I don't know. There's something about cast king. It's my my deal with Cast King is the fact that they talk Let's themselves up like they're Shimano right. and Daiwa. Yeah, and, and they're it's not. Like you're not, dude. They're you're not, not even close. You're not Sh Shimano Daiwa one, caliber. You're not even quite to lose caliber. You're no. you're up there. You know you got good stuff. It's not horrible, but you're not. Well, and if you want to get to lose caliber, you pay more than lose for a Cast King. Right. You can buy you know lose caliber reel from Cast King, but you're going to pay more than lose price. What I don't like about Cast King, I think they just have 
like I think there's better looking rails on AliExpress. I think they have a cheaper AliExpress look overall to yeah. a Cast King rail. Well, I just I, I got this one because it matches. There's a, there's a fish. Finally, I could feel that thing hitting. Dude, I missed him. I felt the hit. I had him for a second. All right, Super Destroyer. Don't make me go trade you in for a caching. He was definitely not. And that's what I should do once I get settled in. The Super Destroyer should be my jig rod. And it lost the bite. And, whoa, Charles. In this pit. Charles, I want you guys to witness that. He came all the way around to the front of this boat. I'm up here angled in the front. It wasn't like I'm back in his territory. And I think that's it's what happens when you fish with seven foot rods. Well, that's true. And this little boat should be like a five foot six, yeah. eight foot boat should have five foot six rods. You can't get them. Oh, you can, especially in this lineup. They make oh, some really? little rods, they make oh, some really? six foot rods that are they make a I want to say it's a six foot six that's as stout as this rod. They make uh, six foot fairly, you know, but yeah, you can stay roughly in that six foot to six foot six and cover all the different things, but you got to pay the money for the, because the Japanese do, they fish with uh, just shorter rods. Yeah. This, uh, the long rod thing and the big power thing, that's a truly American thing. One piece rods and big monster stuff. That's, it hasn't been like Japan's pushed off there thing on us that's what we've just wanted and so then they'll copy they'll make that yeah. like when they come out with these rod and reel uh these rods they first make uh, uh oh there's a weird hook set for there you want to clap you with it. i lost my whole bait yeah i was going to say that thing seems awful yeah it took my snap me at the lead i got oh. something weird going on with mine huh you ain't got no more of those yeah You already bought more, didn't you? No, I didn't. I haven't bought more, but I got one more. I bought two when I bought them. Oh, so Charles... But the bad thing is I stole half the skirt off of one, put it on the other one. Why'd you do that? Huh? It wasn't full enough to be a cheap dollar to Walmart. There we go. Spinnerbait bites on. We just got to get down here and move fresh water. So, this color seems to be going to work. I missed that first fish. I don't know if I was just setting the hook weird or what, but these are actually close to as cheap as the Walmart ones. That AliExpress knockoffs you can get for, uh, if you buy three to five at a time, the shipping you can get, I think they're about three dollars a piece is all. So very affordable. The Mega Bass knockoffs, or the, the knockoff, oh boy, how am I trying to say that? The bait that these are knocking off, the SV3, is like $12.99. And I don't think you can get them any cheaper than that anywhere you look. So, it's hard to knock though if they're not worth that. Because if they get bit, and they probably, they'll definitely outlast these. If you guys haven't watched the other footage, Charles probably didn't even see because I don't, wasn't with Charles. I've already lost a blade on one of these, Charles. Oh, really? And then I did find when I took, uh, I tried to rob a blade off another new one, mm -hmm. and the ball bearing swivel was locked up on it. Oh. So I was like, dude. So there's a little trick to like bending the, you know, you got to bend the thing at the back to make sure the, uh, when a fish jumps and shakes, he's not going to throw the blade off like what happens to you every, uh, yeah, every fire time. tiger one you've ever had and thrown. And usually early on, like first five, there's one right at the boat. That drag is too loose just by, oh, that's a good, dude, I kind of, I love this P5. I, oh, dude, Charles, that's my fish of the day. I need a pick of this dude. They are scrawny on a touch. They, they look healthy when you first look at them, but if you really know, they got their bellies are drawn in just a hair. 
kicked out all their yeah, eggs. Yeah, uh, the females have kicked out their eggs. The males are working hard to guard and do stuff. And so they're just... You may catch a giant bass, but it's not going to weigh as much, near as much as it would. So this is a time of year where most people don't catch their personal bass unless they just started fishing. So let me get a pick and I'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, I'm starting to catch up to Charles. I only got like 25, is it, maybe to go, Charles? Yeah, if you don't catch any more, maybe 25 and I'll catch Charles. So do we have a jumper, Charles? Sure we do. Get out there and jump. Oh no, he wanted to jump. He may jump again. He, he went down with his mouth open. So he may still think he's got something. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, let's go, Charles. We're on a tear. Charles threw off, or no, you set the hook. Yeah. And what, just... what, you still have not bought any P-Line original, have you, Charles? Well, I think it was this monster. Dude, if you'd had P-Line original, you'd have got that monster in. I'm just telling you. Is it's not that expensive if it's leader material because you buy like that three 500 yard spool or whatever. Right, last year, last year, last year. It, yeah, pretty much. It'll last a long time. Uh, but anyway, let's try up here. We are on. There's first cast. Oh man, it's a green. First cast, and that green sunfish wanted it. So I need to try that, that other color. The bluegill colors seem to be a little off today. That's why the chatterbait video only lasts as long as it did. But that little color just works in some places and other places it doesn't. It's it's worth throwing to see. And today in this water, it is flat out working. Charles threw off his favorite, or not threw, I keep saying threw off. So he's got another one. Nope, I don't. Dude, mix a little, oh, let me see. Yeah, you don't. Oh, you know what? I got another. What did I do with that? I do have some other baits I need to get out. Oh, boy. Look out, tree. And try. So now we're just kind of fishing. I've kind of wrapped up a couple videos. I was trying. Oh, there's one following it. Oh, a little green. Like I killed it and he, the action. He needed it to be doing something. He just looked at it and then swam off. Oh, there was a bump. There, there's a fish, Char Charles. You need to get out here. They are on. I can't catch them all, Charles. I need help. They, oh, in the boat. I got my spinner baits laid out. Don't jump in my spinner bait box. Settle down. That's what you get. Look at you. You've made a mess of yourself. All right. He's a jumper. This bait, I'm liable to have it. I got more coming though. They should be here. It comes from AliExpress. I got more. That's the Meredith Bates color. I can't find that color anywhere here, but which is fine. The Merediths are cheaper. But before I take my hoodie off, we're gonna switch to just to try it. Poison adrenaline with this bait on it. And that bait needs to be bent down just a little more. This one's got a little more decked out. I got this little thing on it. So, I definitely can feel a little difference in sensitivity. I can still feel the bait, not as strong a thump though as with that Super Destroyer. Charles says he don't watch my live streams because all I do is go on tangents talking about stuff and he, like he gets enough of it in the boat when he's fishing with me. So, it's not really an act, is it Charles? That's just how I it's starting to warm up, and I'm going to show Charles, though, if he would have watched my live streams, what he would have found out. First of all, he'd be buying P-Line Original and not broke off his favorite bait on whatever brand. I don't care what brand he's using. It's not P-Line Original. But I made some baits. So look what I did, Charles. Yeah, I saw this. You saw this? Yeah. So I redid that one. Remember, that's an original one I had, and it caught. So I changed right. it up, added a little bit of stuff in it. That's a good color. Yeah. But we've already used that color today. So then I did another one on, that's a true jackhammer. But that looks like a good color, doesn't it? It's kind of well, peanut butter sucks. and jelly. What'd you do? I had my foot tied up in the... So we yep. got that one. Chatterbaits though. But Charles, guess who made some spinnerbaits? 
Oh yeah. So now that's blue just original. That's now, good, but the bluegill color bought. isn't really working. Right. But Sorry. I didn't make that one. I just I stuck it on. I made that oh. uh, spinner bait. But I made this color. Uh huh. Look at that color. Yeah, that looks good. Now it needs trimmed. I think like some of these stragglers. But this color looks good. So I need to try this. I'd let you try it, but you'd probably break it off that cheap, funky line you use. You need better line. That's uh, Berkeley XT. This is. So we're probably going to rig this one up today and try it here shortly. The other Seeger. Seagar. Seagar. Whatever you want to call it. It all sucks compared to P-Line Original Charles. Whatever. So this bait, I should rig it up right now. I actually like those strings. I'm going to show you guys. Like when you get out here, I think this black and yellow was one hit wonder though. I kind of like to keep. So I kind of put that one together, but. Some of these inner ones. Actually, that looks pretty close. So I'm going to pull it down. Yellow one's probably a bit much. Because I don't want it too long. I think something like that. Yeah. Leave it. And we'll try it some point in time maybe right now okay I pulled out a Meredith Bates basically the same thing we got on that other spinner bait so I may need to thin out that skirt uh, just a little bit but the bluegill color is just not really working that great here anyway so I'm gonna put this bluegill bait up awesome bait that works good we've already seen at other spots seems like water clarity is not the factor it's just the place you happen to be at but we're gonna try this dude and I kind of like to rig all my paddle tails. I really don't mess with it on when I have a cross style on like a chatterbait. But when I've got a chatterbait or I've started switching with spinnerbaits also. If you can tell I rig that uh, kind of angled down to where that paddle stays down and out of the way of the turbulence that the blades are creating. I think just gives it a more natural kind of swim. So we'll try this dude on our new X Pride. Let me just show you guys if you can see the. Well, the sun went away now. So that might be a little bright, being it's a War Eagle with the gold stuff, but we've got the sun coming and going. That blade just spinning around, that little paddle's down there going close to the same, close to the same kind of movement. So let's just try it first cast. I'll let it sink down a little. I'm curious as to how, whether I can feel the thump. Like this one, it's not because of the X-Pride rod. This, uh, the Z-Mans and those SV3s just have such a crazy feel. I can feel you can feel them coming through the water way better than even this, uh, War Eagle one. So that's where I probably won't be buying any more of these. I'll be getting a knockoff and with the occasional Z Mans as they fall apart or break. I will probably replace those with the Z Mans just because they, they tend to ride a little bit higher going slow. But I'm not going to stick a long time in this color. I just want to try it. things happen. I have too soft of a rod possibly for that spinnerbait blade because that felt like it had a lot of give when I set that hook. But he 
definitely thumped that thing. Guys, go. Let me move you over here. You see? Yeah, the wind's blowing here so much, it's almost starting to get the water hazy along the edges. A lot of times that can help them get stuff blown in here and them biting. So the X Pride 610 medium throws this spinnerbait very well, basically half ounce, three eighths ounce spinnerbait. know if it's going to have quite the hooking power for this. So that V-Man I feel has a better hook. For the lighter rod, this uh, Get a fish in on this rod. Just for the blade spoon. I think I got the little dink coming at me, guys. Not, not big. So capable. Tra where'd you guys go? So Charles, my new bait worked. You want to throw it? No. Nope. Charles. Look at that. It's a monster. I'd honestly probably feel more comfortable throwing that dude with that hook size on the Super Destroyer or uh, Poison Grin over this guy. And that's probably what, and I need to switch, I probably need to just put these, whoa! Two different color ones on the Adrena and the Super Store, and then try some uh, crankbaits on this. One. This dude would be perfect for like, I think every size square bill you could think of a 2.5 down to like a 1.0 or a 0.5 or whatever. The little Proveros. This rod should be excellent for jerk baits, for those little, uh, like a rock crawler style bait, those little uh, fire tail crawl baits. Uh, Square bills, that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's go. One, Charles, right up right up Charles went to, what did you go to? The park? Yep, yep. Charles went to that base. I need to rig one. Probably try one too, because where we're at. But I'm gonna try this real quick versus Charles' uh fire tech off. The... Yeah, I don't think that bites on. So look at this, Charles. Black and blue, oh, yeah. gold blade on the SV3, which we've already seen, is getting hit in that other color. So, let's just try this dude. Should be coming back into fish over here. Uh-oh. Charles got a little dink. Just as I said that. Should be coming into fish. Yeah. Purple haze. Purple haze worm. Charles turned this into a soft plastic bite already. Purple haze on the uh Tarza 2. Tarza 2 with the uh is that the would you call that the Acura or the Dark Wolf Ultra? Which which internal frame though is it? Dark Wolf Ultra. Dark Wolf Ultra. Spool and stuff still, right? There's a there's a fish. Black and blue gold blade SV3 knockoff seems to work. Man, I'm telling you that super destroyer. It is hard to knock that rod. Hard to knock.
bait back black and blue color with the gold blade just works it transfers to this spinner bait anyway and I've always thought that if a chatterbait color will work it'll work in a spinnerbait too I don't see why it wouldn't because if a white chatterbait looking like a fish which I think should look more like a crawdad I think it's, it's got to look like a bluegill you got a big fish? nope I had one but it took me straight into the brush there he jumped yeah. I saw him that's about a two pounder maybe a two pounder <laughs> Charles's fish of the day just broke him off. Camera, you guys totally missed it. But you caught my laugh. Maybe I'll leave that in. I shouldn't have laughed. Charles starts struggling. Yeah, man. You better throw that whopper plopper back on because Charles was tearing me up on a whopper plopper. Tearing, actually started to get a tear going on a spinnerbait. Lost it. And I can tell you right now, when Charles finds that other spinnerbait, he'll buy probably 10 of them just to make sure he doesn't lose that that's kind of the way i'm anyway. thing is i'm getting low on uh i got i'm gonna have charles's fish i'm getting low on uh what purple haze oh i got purple haze i can't find why because rogers is the only place that seems to have them no you can get them all over tackle warehouse well yeah, yeah. but I, I can't get them shoot i probably got like a few packs of purple haze do you like the lighter ones? Because I'd probably yeah. sell you a pack of my lighter ones. I like the darker purple haze. I think they both have their place. Yeah, I'm just a fan of the... I like them darker, and I feel you can stretch them a little. They get lighter as they stretch, right. so I like to start out darker. Mm -hmm. And just me, I guess. But there should be a fish right there. I need to throw my jig right there. So Charles's fish, he pulled off out of that. There should be some right there, though. Hang on. So those of you guys like when do you throw a jig? Any time really that that's about the only thing you get could my, throw. Get my purple hands back. Well, I ain't gonna do that because I might be able to if he'll hit again. But like any time like this where I see there's cover up and in there. I like to at least try something. Ah, get off there. This bait may be too heavy. A lot of times they'll whack it, they'll catch it going down on the fall. I think that's what that one did. Was it did, and then when I set the hook, it was like, oh, brush. You know? Thought I had a hit. You said you did have one? I thought I did. I don't think I did, I think. At least it was trying to There's get rid of my worms. So There's a fish. Sure that may be a nice big fish. I can't tell on this rod. Dude, that's a bigger quality anyway. Stay pinned. Oh yeah, that's a good chunk. That's fish of the day, maybe. Is that the same fish? That's probably the same class that you had. I don't want a boat flipping with the rod I got. I will lift him into the boat with the line, though. Dude, that's fish of the day, Charles, on the jig. So just like I was talking about, anytime you see that kind of stuff, like Charles threw, you know, uh, worm or something texas style or shaky head but that jig that is definitely fish of the day i need a pick i'll be back there we go fish of the day so far should i weigh one charles let me get this wet let me move this i got my seat all nasty i'm bad about that that's why my shorts always stink it's not from the other thing that you guys are thinking so let me put this right okay up. scale zeroed out this may take a while Ooh, two pounds, one ounce. So two pound largemouth bass. 
We could round up to two and a half, but we don't round that far. That scale is totally wet. Eugene, thanks again to Eugene for the use of the scale. Let's see if we got a jumper, and then we'll talk about what just took place there. Come on. Charles? Got one on mood ring. Dude, let's see. Oh, there's my purple haze. Charles is way bigger than mine. So that's what I was talking about. Like right over here, when you see those lay downs and stuff, like laying into the water down at a steeper bank, I mean, you could hit it with the spinner bait within close proximity, but there's really no better way than to go in with something that is truly, you know, snagless, weedless, or whatever, like a jig or a saw plastic rigged up to where, you know, it's Texas, Tex posed as they call it nowadays. That way you, uh, can get it right in there and just throw it in their face and that's what Charles did and broke off and then I managed to get in there I didn't even check that line so yeah I would want to show you real quick that is the one that I added croco gator with some live rubber purple and brown added to the croco gator Does it make a difference? I don't know for sure. Gives me an extra little confidence in throwing it, I guess. I'll throw it more maybe. Okay, folks at home, we are gonna put an end to this video. Not because we're done fishing. We're done at this pit right now. It is just now noon. Here's a uh, show you real quick. So we've been here about four, four and a half hours. Uh, 60, wa water temp has warmed up. We're down this way, it's gotten warmer. But caught a bunch of fish, bunch of different ways. I've actually put together a few different videos. So if you haven't watched any specific videos like jerk baits or topwater whopper plopper type deals, go check those out. They happened on this day. But in general for the jerk baits and chatter baits and all that, we've caught a bunch of fish. Charles, I'm pretty sure, is still ahead of me because of his uh, whopper plopper. But his all other baits combined, you still haven't caught as many as you did on the one whopper plopper, have you? So the whopper plopper was key for Charles this this morning this little first half of the morning so we're going to hit the other paradise pit it'll be a lot gnarlier looking this one actually looks more if you were just wanting scenic out relaxing this is probably the pit but anyway get out of here go bass and bonsai but whatever you do make sure you have fun doing it we're gonna get back load up and go hit another spot oh there's fish right underneath the boat charles uh look at all that look at this this is what we just passed there is definitely and but we sat right there and fished for a little bit and they weren't hitting it's like if they're out deep they're not really hitting that that good look at these cows over here that is number 534 if you guys want to buy a cow number 534 looks like a pretty good specimen there it needs a little fattening up though and it's doing it's doing the job look at it just sucking down that uh those leaves Summertime's here. When you see the cows sucking down the leaves, Charles, it's a good indication. Summertime's right here. Get out of here.